Why did you cheat on me? I thought we were supposed to get married. After further fucking with you, just, just wasn't working out, bro. <laughs> so I'm basically a side piece? It's because you were a dude, you know what I'm saying? But stay there, I'm on my way, cause it's 12 a.m. and I see since yesterday. So why, baby, I'm right here now. I got a show in L.A. with a sold out. Hey what is up guys, it's your boy the Mark Anthony here and welcome to today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below. This video is focused on barbers and yeah, I really don't got much to say about it and yeah, we're just gonna come right to it. Today we're here with Jared. Alright, so the first question I'm gonna ask you is, what is one of the biggest regrets you have with your ex? My biggest regrets? Yeah. Shh, there's a lot of them, bro. <laughs> Give me three, bro. Buying her expensive things, taking out to like fancy places. Oh, cool. And I don't know, like a yeah. lot of red flags, I guess. <laughs> Just her in general is the <laughs> the biggest regret, right? But the next question is gonna be, what is the biggest turn on for you for a female, and what is the biggest turn off for you for a female? Biggest turn off for a female? Yeah. Poor hygiene. Poor hygiene. Yeah. So she got like a stinky armpit and like you Everything know. Everything that's poor. Ooh. That's poor even hygiene, even down there. Yeah, it's got a point. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Smells like fish. Would you do it still? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the biggest turn on for you though? The biggest turn off, mm, just like really poor, like poor hygiene that's down there. You know what I'm saying? No, like what's the turn on? Not turn off. The turn on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, turn shit. <laughs> the biggest turn on would be when like she's like like telling you like cute things to you. Mm, so like kind of like hyping you up, like a hype man. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Ivan's my little hype man, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so the last and final question I'm gonna ask you is: Would you snitch on your homies or would you cheat on your girl? Mm. Got him. We fucking got him. Make the right decision because everybody here is in the barbershop. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I'd probably snitch on the homies. Snitch on the homies like that, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 hey, nah, hey, I'm Kevin, I'm Kevin. I'm Kevin. <laughs> All right, so today we're here with Damien. So this is my lifelong friend from back then when he scored six goals on me in soccer. Hey, bro, bro. That's bro, bro. <laughs> so the first question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what is one of your favorite things about being a barber, and what's one of the worst things about being a barber? Favorite thing? Shit. I can make my own schedule. Period. Uh, you said what was that one? The one of the worst things about being a barber. Worst things? When people don't, uh, when people no show. When people no show, so you shouting out people right now? <laughs> Hell yeah! Some people don't be coming. <laughs> so the next question I'm gonna ask you is: If you were to be a female for a day, what would you do? If I was a female for a day, I'd probably come to the shop. You know what I'm saying? Let all the homies clap. Oh, say less. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, really oh Jesus. Get a little tap tap, you know what I'm saying? So you let Ivan hit right now? Shit, if I was a girl, yeah, bro. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get- And so the last and final question is, what is one of the biggest red flags in a female? You can give me three. A big red flag in a female? If she says she's from Temple or Belton, you know what I'm saying? Him. Even clean? <laughs> yeah, bro. Clean is the biggest red flag. Uh, shout out to Samuel Chavez. <laughs> Alright, so today we're here with- Ivan Vargas. And this is my dad right here? Yep. <laughs> so the first question I'm going to ask you is, bro, what is one thing you would tell people that want to be a barber? Like, what is one of the biggest things for you, why you got into it? To, to jump into it. What do you mean by that? Like, 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 no, like motivational speech, like... No, just jump into it, get into it. Okay. So if I wanted to cut sales right here right now, would you give me the clippers and jump into it? No, okay, no. <laughs> but why? You said to jump into it. Well, now you'd fuck them up. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm pretty good. I, I don't know if you see my recent video when I did a haircut to uh, Austin. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> uh, you left them bald. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you wanted a buzz cut. So the next question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what is a big turn off for you for a female, and what is a big turn off for you? Turn off and turn on. Um. Two hours later. I don't know. It's a great question. Um, a turn on would be if she believes in God. Hallelujah! Mm, okay. A, a righteous woman, Ooh. to say the least. Biggest turn off would probably be... I don't know, if she got a best friend. Oh, she got a... Like a girl best friend or a boy best friend? Both. Oh. 
<laughs> I think that sounds very familiar for me, she right? She can't talk to anybody but me. Period. <laughs> Ooh, you're her best friend. <laughs> Yo, you're basically her best friend. Uh, she got a she got a man best friend that, it, that we, ain't it. We ain't going for that. Cause you know, download they're doing the things. Yeah, it says uh, it says in the Bible, not in the Bible, in the <laughs> in the Muslim religion. I mean, in the Islam religion, they don't allow to be. Uh, from my knowledge, they don't allow a man and a woman to be in the same room unless the uh, brother, husband, or fathers in there because they say they got the when there's a man and a woman together in a room there's also the devil so Ooh. any man any man best friend any stuff like that spending knowledge for not it. going not going for it bro it's basically just what i told you a long time ago about my ex right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the last and final question is bro would you say if your mama's about to die would you suck dick bro come on <laughs> man that's not a that come on no with nah. now bro don't be asking no gay question it's not gay, bro. Bro, it's, it's, it's the time, bro. You don't have to ask me to stop, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll give you a different one. I'll give you a different one. Would you let the homies hit if you're a female? Bro, it's not even a question, of course. <laughs> yes! 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 That's not even a question, of course? Of course. So if I was a, if I was a, like, if you're a female, would you let me hit? Bro, not you. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh, damn. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Everyone else but you, bro. Why do you think I'm gonna have a camera every time yeah. we do it? <laughs> it's gonna be the ex you're gonna be talking about all the time. <laughs> oh. Today we're here with Joel Lugo. This is Daddy right here. So I'm your uncle. I'm your uncle. Your um, daddy my over dad, there. My dad's my over dad there. Dad over there. Oh, I'm the uncle. Oh shit, my bad, my bad. So the first question I'm gonna ask you today, bro, is what is one of the best things about being a barber and what's one of the worst things about being a barber? One of the best things about being a barber is being able to like be your own boss. You can Make your own schedule, be in and out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody tells you what to do. Uh, <laughs> that, that was when I was 20. And, uh, now he's married. Now I'm engaged, you know what I'm saying? But one of the worst things about being a barber is whenever clients aren't professional with you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they don't come on time, they bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's just fucking with your time and your money. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt that one. Well, I'm not a barber myself, but I, you know, I, I cut hair actually, you know, realistically, if we throw the video back. Nice. The next question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what is one of the best things about your fiance, and what is one of the one things you would change about your fiance? The best things about my fiance is <laughs> her personality, the way she cares and loves me, uh, her eye color, mm. and her light skin. Mm. The what worst things about her, I think she's kind of short. Damn! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep that in there. <laughs> no, she gonna laugh when she sees it. <laughs> so, the, <Are> scared? <laughs> so the last and final question is, if you were to be a female for a day, what is the first thing you would do? Fuck me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what? You're gonna- Fuck me, I uh, fuck Joel, yeah. What do you mean by that? <laughs> so you're gonna reverse like- what's, like, what, like what's, what Sile said, you know what I'm saying? If I was a random ass bitch and I saw myself on the street walking around, damn, look at that chubby ass nigga. <laughs> I, I fuck me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So if you're, if I saw you down, you know, walking down Sixth Street and everything, would you let me hit? Naughty, naughty. Yeah, I probably. But why'd you look at my eyes? You trying to hit me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. What if I was a female era, dude? Oh. oh. <laughs> the last and following up question for you. What is one thing you would tell like people that want to become a barber? Like what is something inspiring you would tell them to do? If they want to be a barber, uh don't half ass your effort. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Put, come in the shop, grind it out, build yourself up, don't quit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why it's the goat. Yeah, best advice. So basically like when I gave my friend that haircut, what did you think of it? Rated one to ten? I think you should quit and stick to recording videos. <laughs> Get a point. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, so today we're here with David, David Cuts, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So the first question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what is the biggest turn on for you for a female? What is the biggest turn off for you? Oh, got him. Okay, uh, <laughs> probably one of the biggest turn ons would be like the hair and the voice, you know mm. what I'm saying? So she got a deep voice. How are you gonna feel about that? If this, if she sounds like a man, bro, it's over with, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stop it right there. Appreciate you, my boy. Appreciate you. <laughs> and so what is your biggest turn off, right? Yeah, yeah, turn off. Turn off would be probably the attitude. You know what I'm saying? Like if like 
Because if, if you have, like, a good attitude all the time and, like, I want to be around you all the time, mm. like, I'm pretty much hooked. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. if, like, you're always just, like, fucking complaining or, you know, always just, not, like, have a negative Nancy-ass attitude, mm. then I'm just, like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So it's really just, like, attitude, really. So would you let your basically let your girl put a crystal in your car? I think she has. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I think she, is that a good thing? Uh, I mean, that basically means you stuck with her forever. Well, I don't. I believe in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the next question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is if you're to be a female for a day, what's the first thing you would do? Fuck my homeboys. Wait a minute. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Oh, oh. Yeah. So the last and final question for you is basically it's a two-parter. So the first question is gonna be, what is your favorite thing about being a barber? And what is one of the worst things about being a barber? So the best thing about being a barber is you, one, you'll never run out of money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go anywhere in the world, bro, and cut hair and you, you'll make a living. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, being my own boss can pull up. Say if I was tired tomorrow, pull up at 12 and nobody will tell me shit. You know what I'm saying? I think Leo likes to budge that. Yeah. <laughs> you'll have something to say, but at the end of the day, it'll be my choice. You know what I'm saying? The worst part is just like some people like it's just like hard to deal with you know what i'm saying which is like in the service industry beauty industry whatever you want to call it like there's always going to be those people that are always just going to have a problem with you or whatever you know what i'm saying or like competition don't like exact well not even competition it's just like actual customers you mm. know what i'm saying like what do you mean by that there'll always be somebody that'll like either no show you or will talk down on your game or you know what i'm saying like and like uh, like you said like competition as well other barbers will like talk down on you when like you, you know what i'm saying overall it, the the pros definitely overweigh the cons you know what i'm saying yeah, like yeah, so most definitely if you think about being a barber be a barber here with uh chente chopper basically leo in, in, in english in english Man, that's my IG, Turn They Chop with 21. Oh, 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 oh. So they can find me and book with me and all that. Yeah, for real, bro. Don't bring up the government, but what's up? All right, so today the first question I'm going to ask you is, what is one about one of the best things about being a barber? And what is one of the worst things about being a barber? Uh, you meet a lot of cool people and all that. But <clears throat> probably the worst thing about being a barber is probably being like too booked out and all that. And mm. He's got a point. Like... You feel kind of stressed, uh, not a stress, but you become like a slave to your own chair and your own work mm. and all that. So, and then it's just hard to find like family time, your personal time, mm. or just time to pay bills, oh. bro. You know, yeah, yeah, so. I feel that one. Uh, if, if you were to be a female for a day, what's the first thing you do, bro? Uh, run for president. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Why? Why not be the first female? Be the first, <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible, bro. So what it's is possible. so if you were to be the president, what's the first like three things you would change in this like uh, country? Free college. Oh shit! Like. <laughs> free Medicare. First biggest thing is uh, fix the roads, especially in Temple. <laughs> oh. So the last and final question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is uh -huh. what is one of the biggest regrets you had in your life, and what would you tell your younger self, like if you were to tell yourself? Uh, not work at Waterburger at all. Why do yeah. you say that? Because they got in my way of school. I was such a good worker and all that, but they started booking. They started booking me. They started putting <laughs> me on the schedule every day and all that. So it wasn't allowing me to take care of my schoolwork. And um, you know, I was planning on going to college and stuff like that. So I feel like Waterburger just ruined my whole plans after high school. And I just adjusted. And but you like now. being a barber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we made it. And he's the he's the manager of this uh, shop. Yeah. So how Come do you visit us at Aftermath Temple Texas best shop out here? Mm. All right. So today we're here with Sayo. So. <laughs> Damn, why you say it's so deep? <laughs> so the first question I'm gonna ask you today is, if you could tell like the younger generation one thing about like growing up and everything, what would you want to tell them? What do you mean? Like, what advice would you give them as of right now? I guess follow your dreams. Don't be like Mark Anthony. Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> be doing videos in the middle of a barbershop. <laughs> For real though, uh, I guess just follow your dreams and uh, don't let nothing stop you. I guess. That's same thing I'm doing right now, following my dreams. I'm not that old, so I don't know what you mean by younger <laughs> generation. <laughs> so the next question is going to be is, what would you do if you were to be a female for the first day and one day only? Uh, I'd fuck Joel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it's just like that? It's just like that. You let the homies get it. Let the homies get it. <laughs> Gay! The last and final question question is, bonus question, what is one thing you like about your your wife and what is one thing you dislike about your wife? Don't do that to me. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Don't do that to me. One thing I like is that she's uh, 
very supportive, and she's very, uh, uh, I guess she has her head her head and her shoulders right now. She's following her dreams and pretty much it. I mean, there's more things that I like, but, you know, yeah. we, can, we can go on and on. I don't want your video to be long. <laughs> uh, ooh, you little Nazi. I know why you, like, you uh, said that. And dislike? I don't know, man. There's nothing I dislike. Not the attitude? Nah. Not height? I mean, not, nah. not smile? Sometimes the nagging, but that's it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You'll know later on. Once you get married, you know later Once on. Once I get older. Once you get older, son. <laughs> yeah. And that's it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and do not forget to subscribe. And don't forget to leave some questions down below that you want me to ask in future videos. Let's see what the manager's got to say. You guys say anything? Okay. So then we're going to go over to Sleepy McGangus over here. So you got anything to say to the camera? Don't forget to leave a what? Probably like and subscribe. Yeah guys, that's it for today's video.